Marigolds are the best pollinators in any garden. If you require pollination by bees and uh, the other moths and butterflies on your pumpkins, gourds, and uh, cucumbers, well, I would recommend that you plant marigolds. Marigolds are one of the easiest plants, flowers to be grown in any gardens. All you need is grab a bunch of seeds and throw them, that's it. And they would grow by themselves. I bought my marigold seeds many years ago and I'm just using them in my garden and I just recycle them, gather the seeds from the previous plant because they can grow right away once the plant gives those seeds out and you can just put them in the ground and they will grow. So here is my previous marigold which I had sown in uh, around April of this year and they have grown, outgrown the tomatoes and the pepper plants so I don't want that to happen so I need to prove Now one way of pruning them is that we just do it on the plant uh, but I think that I have to prepare my garden for the fall session as well so that's why I'm gonna take them out and prune them uh, by myself out of the ground so I have taken 17 plants out marigolds gonna replant them marigolds are very hardy plants so you can even all the precautions that you are supposed to take for any other plants you can just forget them because they grow anytime they want to grow under any conditions this is what I wanted to show you so look at this branch that was touching the soil and see the roots appear right over there so anything that touches the ground it becomes a root so each and every single step of a uh, stick of marigold can turn into a full-fledged plant so it's up to you so for example let's take this one plant this is the smallest one uh, wait a second let me show you the roots so any part that touches the soil becomes a root, just like tomatoes. So I will trim it down to just two shafts. <laughs> Bonnie, you sneeze, get away. <laughs> so here is the plant and I will cut it from the top. This much is left. All the dead leaves cut and this is ready to go into the ground Look at this plant even the cambium layer is divided into two but it was still providing this huge big plant so I would tie them together and then cut everything on top took the whole plant and grabbed just a few on the top and nice clean cut all this goes away keeping these ones gotta clean them up here I will make sure no dead leaves are there here Also ready to go in. 
too. Very invasive, so you have to take control of them. And I always keep my eyes on them. Anytime they overgrow, I just reduce uh, their uh, diameter and prune them. If you see some ungardening techniques being used for marigolds, don't worry. They are super hardy, sturdy, and really, really bearing plants. They can bear it. So these are the new marigolds that are going to go into the ground. 14 I've chosen. And rest, everything is over there. So I have chosen the far end corner of my garden. Over here. I will plant them together. With square foot gardening. You see every one foot has a hole. That's where the marigolds are gonna go. Although the spacing is too little, they should have at least two feet apart from each other. More the better. It's your bigger garden. And now I will just pick up one and see, drop it like a javelin throw. Javelin. Ooh. Or dart. Ha, ah, missed it. Let's see this one. Can it go in? Come on, you can do it. Perfect. Next one. He. He. Not bad. Oh, that's going to be an easy peasy case. Marigolds are in the ground. This side is done. Now let's take care of that one. Happy gardening. Please enjoy and like and share if you really like the video. Subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.